There are a lot of games that made a difference or were a huge success, like Pac-Man, which changed the gaming scene forever. But there's only one that has sold over 100 million copies in the last 10 years, and that's Minecraft. This game has sold over 100 million copies, and thanks to this, it's the second best-selling game in history. Everybody and their grandma has heard of this game, and surprisingly enough, it was made by one man, Marcus Persson, also known as Notch. But this game also has a surprising amount of unused and removed content, like mobs and items. So let's dive into the world of Minecraft beta features and items. First up, some removed blocks and items. There are a total of three unused blocks, and one that wasn't released since there were problems with it. Number 1. Seamless slabs. These blocks went unused. All double slabs have a seamless variant that displays the top texture on all sides of the block. This is only visible on stone, sandstone, red sandstone and quartz type double slabs, because the other slabs already have the same texture on all sides. Besides the texture, they act just like their normal double slab counterparts. Number 2. Bark blocks. These also went unused. Wood blocks have a variant where the side bark texture is displayed on all sides, but they still act the same as normal wood blocks. Number 3. Stone wooden slabs. The last unused block. But it's actually more a change to an existing block. In an earlier version, wood slabs acted just like stone slabs. A pickaxe was needed to destroy it. It can be obtained normally if you load a save from before the real wooden slabs were implemented. Now besides these unused or altered blocks, there is also one that didn't work. The dirt slab. In earlier versions of Minecraft, Notch tried out dirt slabs. So they would be half a block lower than the grass and make the world feel more smooth. However, this caused errors with dirt spawning in places like underground, leaving odd gaps. For this reason it went unused, it just didn't work. Now there were also a couple of items that aren't released yet, but we do know that they exist. For example, the lectern. This would have worked just the way you would have imagined it. A stand for reading books. Programmer Dinnerbone worked hard on it and got far into it, until he encountered numerous bugs and decided to scrap it. In 2013 on his Reddit AMA, he was asked if he would revisit it, and he replied that he was trying, but it still felt buggy and didn't feel right. Another item by Dinnerbone that isn't released yet is Dyed Planks. Dinnerbone posted a poll on whether or not he should add Dyed Planks to the game. The poll won, but Dinnerbone cancelled the idea sometime in development when he realized he had to add new slabs and stairs as well. The blocks were replaced with hardened clay. Now, besides blocks, there were also a couple of mobs and NPCs that went unused, and some might be familiar to you. The Giant. If you hack a monster spawner to spawn giants, you'll realize that the model's gigantic size won't even fit inside the spawner. A huge zombie that has a massive amount of health and deals a ton of damage. As fearsome as this foe may seem, it has absolutely no AI, so have fun wailing on his lags. Giants were added in the last version of the survival test, but never implemented. They are coded to spawn in a light level both greater than 11 and less than 8, effectively making them unable to spawn naturally and see the light of day. So I think you can see why it didn't work out. The Killer Bunny. This Killer Bunny is a hostile variant of the rabbit. Despite being hostile, it does not despawn on peaceful difficulty and will still attack. If the Killer Bunny finds a wolf and the player is out of sight, it will attack the wolves. We don't really know why they didn't go through with this one, since it would be a funny surprise for the players. The Zombie Horse There is an unused and undead horse in version 1.6, and it can be spawned using third party programs or with commands, and it isn't hostile. Oddly enough, it has sound effects associated with them, and it can only be saddled or tamed via the summon command. This was probably either a variation on the horse, or the hostile enemy version of it, but we're not sure. The Wither Jockey While technically used, it's extremely unlikely to encounter this mob in a normal playthrough. If a spider is spawned in the nether, there is a very rare chance that it will spawn with a wither skeleton riding it. 
Because they don't normally spawn in the area, spiders must be obtained via summon commands or rarely by using a spider spawn egg in the nether to see this rare mob. The Green Villager A green robed villager skin, but normally the standard villagers use the farmer.png skin instead. There is a command to summon the villager, however it changed in 14w02c due to the green robed villagers crashing when trading. Aside from their skin, they were completely removed in 14w20a. But there is a zombie villager version corresponding to this in Minecraft 15w35a, which also went unused. It is interesting however that this mob does appear in the console releases. The Human Mob Before the adventure update, there was a partially disabled mob named Human that was used to test damage and AI but was never completely removed. It ran slightly faster than the zombie and was slightly taller than the player. It uses the default player's character skin but has its own file. Now, there is also a very interesting feature that was removed and replaced by something else. Notch was planning to add a sky dimension for the beta 1.8 update, in which you had a chance of going to when you fell asleep. This feature was never implemented, but in beta 1.6 and 1.7 there is data in the code for this dimension. With the use of mods, it is possible to access this dimension, and in 1.0 it was replaced with the end. Now, it's unknown why they replaced it with the end, since you could also fight the end dragon in the sky, because it's a dragon. Maybe the sky dimension was too small to be used as a battlefield to fight the dragon, since it doesn't look like there is a lot of space. So as you can see, Minecraft had some great features that were scrapped and also some that were terrible. But still, the game was a huge success and left its mark in the video game history forever. Mario Kart Wii also left a pretty big mark in the development of games, and you can check out our video about it by clicking it. And make sure to subscribe for more weekly videos.